I gave my sister brain damage as a child, resulting in her decreased ability to visualize. I have felt guilty about doing this one thing ever since I was a child. I must have been around 12 years old when my female cousin who was around 10 to 11 at the time showed me a trend on Musical.ly and it involved two people turning someone around. I felt a little hesitant, but I still agreed to do it, so she suggested we did it to my little sister who was around six at the time, and as we were doing it, we must have missed a fundamental step in this stupid trend and my sister fell vertically on her head by a good couple inches and started crying. Recently I was talking to her about it, joking that I gave her brain damage and she said she didn't remember the event, but as we talked about it she said she suddenly remembered and said that immediately after it happened her mental imagery, visualization, decreased significantly. To a point where she now hardly visualizes, she still visualizes, but the mental images are not strong. After she's told me that I've been eating myself alive ever since, I don't know how to live with myself. Now I'm not sure whether people would call this a disproportionate reaction all things considered. She didn't completely lose her ability to visualize, but the fact that I obeyed my cousin like that so easily and ended up decreasing my sister's quality of life has made me feel like shit, and I don't know what to do. I laughed, in private, at a close friend's insecurity. My friend, 27F, had really bad PMS. Short-tempered, crying at a random inconvenience, super impatient. This starts the week before her period and lasts until a few days after, so about 2 to 2.5 weeks out of the month. For the last few years, she's had the suspicion that it's from her hormones from her birth control. She's also disappointed it didn't get rid of her periods like what usually happens. She finally talked to a nurse about switching it out for a copper IUD. To which the nurse said, oh no, your brand of IUD isn't supposed to affect any of that. Your period's not supposed to go away, and none of the iods should affect your mood. I wouldn't dare do it out loud, but I had a good chuckle when she called us after crying about how it's not her hormones, and that she's just a bitch. I feel bad for her, but I'm also tired of her using her period as an excuse to be mad half the time we talk and hang out. Edit, so she's currently on Kylina, not Myrina. The nurse said Kylina is not meant to stop your period, just lessen them. Hers are as frequent as before, but lighter. I used to have Myrina and switched over to copper, just because I used to get super hot flashes. She used to be on the pill, but with her ADHD and depression, she's medicated for both. She didn't take it 100% consistently which ended up with a big pregnancy scare. She wanted something with less maintenance, so Planned Parenthood suggested an IUD. The only reason she hasn't switched to copper yet is because how much it hurt being put in, and then having it removed and a new one inserted when the first one started slipping out after a year. She fully plans on getting it removed and having kids in the next two to five years with her partner. She's aware she's a bitch. The laughing was just the delivery of the line, I am just a bitch. The post is here because she doesn't need to know I secretly actually agree with her, instead of the usual, oh no you're fine. Good OL, PMS, haha, the next time she seriously complains about her mood swings, I will bring up PMDD, but I also know she's discussed this with two different nurses at PP, and her mom, her aunt, and my mom who are also nurses. They both think it's just regular PMS, not related to her birth control. We've all just agreed, she can be a bitch.